Top Med Talk. Well, hello, Top Med Talk listeners. We're coming to you live from San Francisco. 2023, the American Society of Anesthesiologists annual meeting here in San Francisco. I'm Desiree Chapel, your host, and I'm joined by my co-hosts, Monty Mythen, Mike Grocott, Guy Ludbrook. I got a fantastic lineup here. Monty, welcome. Desiree, as always, it is great to be here. So I think we've done a, we've done a number of ASAs now, a few of them virtually, but it's great to be back and great to be back in San Francisco on it this is. very, very important day. Yeah. So I'm wearing my green, white, and gold because yes. there's a little bit of rugby happening later. Professor oh. Ludbrook probably knows what the match is later. I do. I have to confess to having been born in New Zealand, who's playing, oh. I think, some country from the UK. But Ooh. as always, I'm impartial Ooh. and we'll just let it happen and may the best team win. I think the you just precipitated UK. a diplomatic incident. <laughs> <laughs> What you mean is the independent Republic of Ireland. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Somehow our conversations always start or end with some with something around football, soccer football, or rugby. Oh, I'm weather. still trying to understand the, the difference between all the ones. Okay. Uh, so five years ago this weekend, we were here at the Moscow Center here in San Francisco at the Smith Medical Booth doing this very oh, podcast. Yes. Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah, the Superman set up that yeah. was wonderful yeah that was very that was good awesome. wonderful interviews that day it was those days yes those days so Monty, you've come over mike i'm so glad that you're here coming over from the uk and able to join us to be a co-host and and my co-pilot over the next three days um so excited about the meeting this weekend it's great to be here yeah. um great to be part of this well, you had shown the stats before over two million Downloads. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Top my talk. We just surpassed this summer, right, Monty? Yeah, two well, million well, well downloads. Into the two millions now. Yeah, Brilliant. and two thousand over two thousand podcasts we've done. I'm, I'm exhausted. Yeah, I just get <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of work. It's still um, over a hundred countries. Yeah, which is great. Over a hundred. Mm-hmm. That's right. So lots of great content out there. Just got our new website. Mm -hmm. up and running so it may not look completely different but in the background it's running differently so hopefully easier to use and we're going to be broadcasting this weekend throughout the entire weekend so if you're watching now thank you so much if you're listening do join us the schedule is at topmedtalk.com it's loaded up on the web page you can check it out there Um, some great conversations coming up over this weekend guy tell me some of the ones you're most excited about Look, I think looking at the program, I see perioperative medicine and related topics linked through the meeting. And that's great to see. I mean, as our specialty evolves, uh, we need to look at where we're going to go, where the biggest need is. So, you know, those really caught my attention. Everything from just updates in perioperative medicine to geriatric people, which in my world is a huge issue to... I think it's in all our world. (laughs) Point of care, ultrasound, all these theoretical and and pragmatic issues that we just have to deal with. So that's what I'm really excited about this week. Yeah. You know, I was looking through our schedule, kind of, you know, looking at all of our different conversations. There's a real thread of technology, emerging technology, emerging medications, a lot of new stuff, and AI is huge. AI everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Large language models, what you can do with chat gpt and it's it's everywhere it it is everywhere it's a little interesting though because i mean everybody's talking about it but it's trying to figure out what it is in the very first place i feel like we're yeah. back we're back to big data 15 20 years ago yeah oh. we, 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 we won't, like we won't the, retell that story now we'll retell that no. story in the bar later but uh, it feels like one of coffee the, bar you can't later. quite see how what's going to coalesce out of the cloud something's clear out of the cloud clearly, Yes. I, I mean, like, <laughs> oh, cloud. yes. Oh, I'm sorry. That cloud. <laughs> but, yeah, but, but similarly, but, you know, it, it's clearly going to be fantastically important both in our everyday lives and in our professional lives. Yeah. But exactly how is, is just hard to put your finger on at the moment. Yeah, it really is. And potentially a bit intimidating, too. Yeah. For, for those for of sure. us who, you know, are a little older than others, you know, we weren't brought up with this. And so not only to understand what it is, but how we're going to work with it. And is that going to mm-hmm. be an easy thing for us to do and we've got a lot of learning to do i, I kind of sense in fact if it's that clever it's going to make it usable for me or at least i'm hoping um, i hope i hope so you know we talk a, a lot about this and we have here on top my talk um you know we're using ai so much now in our everyday lives whether we know it or not i mean if anybody has a, a cell phone you know i mean that is your ways app or your maps all of that is generated with ai so 
It'll be interesting how it comes out. I know we have a really cool conversation coming up with Provation Medical, um, Manny Vindaya talking about AI and how the use of that hopefully, like you said, will improve, but also, you know, contribute to um, improving physician burnout and, and provider burnout and things like that, which I've done a lot of change management and I've seen where sometimes technology is supposed to do that. It doesn't always do that. Sometimes it contributes to um, a little bit of burnout. So I'm hoping that we do this in a little bit better way, uh, this generation of technology. A bit more humane. Yeah, hopefully. maybe that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, it's just definitely thoughtful for sure. Um, any other conversations that you guys are excited about today on Top Men Talk that we're going to be having? I think a really interesting conversation this afternoon. I forget the name of the guys, but from a black medical college without yeah. an anesthesiology program, really interesting conversation in the, in the uh, well, we, were, we were trying to work it out before the EDI or the DEI space, the equality diversity inclusion space, um, the yeah. challenges that they must have had. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. Elijah McMillan and Majesty Greer are, f- yes. Um, and they, they've gone to a historically black medical college. Um, they have no anesthesia residency program there. And they're going to talk to us a little bit about, you know, some of those hardships and challenges that they've faced and um, what it's like now for medical students, uh, you know, going through. So I think that's going to be good. Guy, anything uh, for you? Oh, well, I'm really to pick up on what Mike said. I mean, it resonates very much with what you and I have talked about in recent days. I mean, we have a, a close relative who is from an Indigenous background who's just got himself into medical school. Oh. Now, from a journalist background, but he really wanted to do that for the reasons that he really wants to help. Not an easy path, though. No. So it's really kind of interesting to see or to hear what we're going to hear this afternoon and how that resonates, which kind of what I've experienced seeing someone really push through. But, you know, great results can, can come. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're going to talk a lot more about um, OR sustainability. We're going to talk about Medicare physician payments, MIPS, the Merit-Based Incentive Program. Um, Lots of great information. So stick around. Um, Our schedule is, you know, if you've ever been on uh, Top Men Talk or listened to us or watched us broadcast live, it's it's live <laughs> radio, live radio, I guess is how we say it, live TV. Yeah. Um, and so the subject, the uh, schedule is always kind of subject to change a little bit. We might be running behind here and there, but we'll try and keep you guys updated. Monty, any final words? You can just remind people that you can listen and to a certain extent yep. watch on demand. So if you don't get it in the moment, if for some yeah. reason you choose to watch the rugby instead of listen to Top Mid Talk, don't know why I mentioned that again. <laughs> 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 then you can catch up later on or, and or dive into our archive of over 2,000 podcasts. So. Yeah, absolutely. I believe you can also watch the rugby on demand. Can can we, rugby. Oh, oh yeah. So concept. we may or may not have an iPad up here watching the rugby. I'm just saying that iPad may be strategically placed. Again, thank you to our sponsors. Thank you so much for making all of this possible. And we look forward to the future conversations that we have throughout the day and throughout the weekend. Cheers, everybody. Top Bed Talk. Thanks for downloading Top Med Talk. Don't forget to subscribe via your podcatcher. Don't forget to check us out on social media. We're on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. And also, don't forget, Top Med Talk is the broadcasting arm of EdPom, evidence-based perioperative medicine. We'd love you to find out more about that. If you check out ebpom.org, you can find low prices on some of the conferences we're organizing around the world. Many of them are virtual and don't even involve you leaving your own home. Check out ebpom.org now.